I said I was sorry. How is that supposed to make me feel? 
I did everything possible to make you understand, but you wouldn't. Do you have an idea of what you made me feel? Do you? You have every right to feel bad. But please. I should automatically accept it. Just because you've used those magic words of yours, huh? I made a mistake. And right here, I am being man enough to admit my mistakes and try to make amends. The least I expect from you. My understanding. Yes, I should understand it. But when I needed that from you, where were you? If you don't trust me, what kind of foundation will our relationship have? Ikenna, I told you I don't have anything with this man. We only did our masters together. When he came back to Nigeria, he thought it nice to see me. What could put those I Stop it! It's enough! I already told you I was sorry. Yes, my son. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Sit down. Whoa. <clears throat> You're welcome. Thank you. So, how is my friend, your father, the Igwe? Oh, my father is fine. Oh, yes, he's fine. In fact, he is waiting for me to bring home his princess, Princess Olamba. But of course, that's what it should be. You know, not quite long. I also waited here for my son, Nikenna, to bring back his bride. It's the same process, yes. Um, when you get home, give him my greetings. Hmm? I sure will, Your Majesty. Salute him for me. Now, um, I hope Olama knows that you are coming. Oh, oh yes. She knows. She knows. Good. So, you have my permission to enter. Yes. Go and talk with them. Oh, yes. Your Majesty. <laughs> Proceed. Go right on. Thank you. You have my permission. Way. Yes, the vehicle got spoiled, but we fixed it. Yes, we're on our way now. Okay, okay, just wait. Her Majesty. What is going on, Olam? Why are you not dressed yet? Mother, it's a berry. I've not seen her. And you know she has the clothes I'm supposed to wear to the occasion. Even the royal gifts I'm supposed to give Obijofo's father, she has them too. So where is she? Her taxi broke down on the road. Oh, God. oh Lamba, you should have taken care of everything before now. Huh? But mother, it's not my fault. If anybody should be blamed, it should be Obijofo. 
He was the one that just woke up one morning and, and brought up this event. He didn't even tell me about it on time. This event is too hasty. If you had told me I would have prepared, you know how I am. I, I, I don't make mistakes like this. So where did the taxi break down? Somewhere uh, along Nkwaji Road. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite unfortunate that you would get married and nobody deemed it necessary to inform me. Don't take it like that, Odunjofo. I just did not want to inconvenience anybody. But, but, yeah, but you know, we are family. I am part of the family. And uh, such things like this, you should... Ooh. Relax. Relax, man. The white wedding is coming up soon, and you are going to be actively involved. You're going to have all the opportunity in the world to express yourself in any kind of um, bagel or flamboyant way. Aha! Exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. That is why we are family. Mm. We will use the money that God has given to us to intimidate those, those urchins that will come to feed fat. Oh yes. And, and then the people will know that we have different levels that we operate on. Because uh, that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Your Majesty, where is she? Um, she's waiting for a bearer who went to bring the dress she wants to wear and um, the gift she wants to present to your father. Oh, <clears throat> so why is she keeping us waiting? The taxi broke down at Estates Roundabout. Oh. Oh. You see, exactly what I'm talking about. That is why I keep saying that the government shouldn't stop at banning those, those, those things, those bikes they call Okadas, but also those coffins they call taxis. Because it's so, it's so appalling, it's so crazy. Someone will bring out a dilapidated car, put it on the road, and then you keep wasting people's time. You know what, Your Majesty? I... I will just start... Oh, please, forgive me. How do I look? Great. I will go take care of things myself. Let me go get them. It wasn't funny that day. Seriously, I didn't know what to do. Because the accusation was so unacceptable. In essence, my husband thought I was cheating on him. Babes, but you know men are such funny creatures. One minute they are acting all so macho and tough. And the next minute they are just overgrown babies in your hands. Babes. I'm happy that eventually he realized I was innocent. He came begging. Can you imagine? Your guy is just being insecure. That's what a thousand and one of them suffer out there. Insecurity. No. We should be the ones to feel insecure because of their waywardness. Tell them that. Anyway, I'm happy you guys have made up and kissed and all that. So when is the wedding coming up? Ijoma. My man has officially come to ask for my hand in marriage. Am I aware? So, until you do the same, you can now come and ask me when is the wedding coming up. <laughs> Joma, please, don't make me laugh. Did I ever tell you I was looking for a man? Oh, please, say something else. Well, there's someone coming for me, actually. But, I don't know, still trying to keep it on that wraps. For now, until things get heated up. <laughs> I wish you happy under wraps. <laughs> I'm not serious. Under, under wraps, babe. You know the way this you know the way this book can be.
so be your fault. He has gone to pick um, a berry and your dress himself. A berry? Yes. Isn't that what every gentleman should do for his lady? Uh -uh. Every gentleman should consult his lady first before taking decisions that concern her. Well, that's a very lovely dress you're wearing. You know, I can say that I have the most beautiful sister in the world. Do I blame you people? Do I have a brother who can flatter me like this? Mother, I did not flatter her. I told her the truth. But come to think of it, is it not the same stock? Like mother, like daughter? Mother, you are beautiful. Mother, you are the intestines of beauty. Uh -uh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, you love me. Hey, Miniki, hurry up now. I'm, I'm trying my best. See, I'm, I'm almost through. Let me just... Hurry up, hurry up. What? Come on, where? Come on. What did I do? What? What is Stop it? Up. Bring him out. Bring him, bring him, bring him, bring him, bring him right, right here. Where are you Stand to? right here. So you are the street urchin that kept my wife waiting, huh? Maybe you don't talk while I talk. Shut up. You know this cancerous piece of metal is not roadworthy, and yet you brought it out on the road. It's just a tire. I've, I've finished. Shut up. Don't talk while I talk. Shut up. Be quiet. Don't say anything. Please, please. Is it, is, it, is it possible he, he doesn't know who I am? Huh? Please, please. Put him in the trunk of the car. No, no, Put please, you can't do that. What did I do? Put him in the trunk. What, what did I do? Put him what in did the I do? trunk please, out stop, to stop. the car. I'm a just, I'm a common cab man. Look, it's not fair. Where are you taking me to? Come on. You don't talk, don't talk. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't, 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 don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. Is he in there? Yes. Thank you. You get in. Get in. Let's go. Hurry up. Get in. Uh, I thought you said you're here. Okay. All right then. Please open the gate for him. Can, uh, I'll see you later. Take very good care of her. Sure will. With your form, my regards to your parents. Of course. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and, uh, um, how do I look once again? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
this is a very beautiful task, my daughter. Thank you very much. It's the least I can do, Your Majesty. I am very glad that you like your gift. My dear, what you have done speaks volume. Thank you very much. Obi. Yes, Father. That is the real gene you have there. You know? oh. And my prayer is that God Almighty should bless your union and make you happy and prosperous. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right, enough of the pleasantries. A feast has already been prepared for your coming, my dear. I think it is right that justice be done to it, so you can go to the table. I can't wait, Father. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go. I'll, I'll die here. Let me go to my house. Die? But if you respect yourself here. Nobody brought you here to, uh, to die. Respect yourself and don't do anything stupid. But this is... I want to go. I will die here. I, I will die here. Take me away. Your Highness. Taxi driver, whatever you call yourself. Go burn that contraption you call a taxi to save yourself further embarrassment and pain. Look, I, I want to go. I, I leave you should let me go. If not, I'll die here. Oh, you think I care if you die? If you die, my boys will bury you. Take this fool out of this compound. Anywhere you see a refuse dump, stop it. He will truly prepare a feast for us. But what he must have forgotten is that it's just the both of us here. <laughs> yep. What is it? You've been acting really strange. And that reminds me. Why didn't you come out of the car to greet my mom when you got to my father's palace? Hello, mom. Honestly, I am not happy. What's wrong? Is it me? No, it's not you. What is it? It's Obi Jeffo. Obi Jeffo. He ordered his guards to beat my taxi driver and throw him in the trunk of his car. Oh my god. When did this happen? As we speak, he's still in the trunk of his car. Hey, Barry. Why didn't you tell me this all along? I was scared. You know he can be erratic.
You know, your beauty has never ceased to amaze me. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Yeah, it's Emenike. Emenike. Am I, am I supposed to know anyone by that name? Where is the taxi driver you ordered your guards to beat and throw in the trunk of your car? Where is he? I see your friend told you. Oh well, he is just what you call him. A common taxi driver. Oh, please. You don't have to bother yourself about such... such low lives. Oh yeah. Come with me. I want to show you something. Not until you've told me where the taxi driver is. Where is he? Uh, it's me. When I tell you not to bother about something, you should trust me. Don't bother. You see, I just gave him the privilege of riding in one of my exotic cars. And as we speak, my boys have gone to drop him off where they got him from. You see? You see? Everybody knows me. I take good care of people. So, are you better now? Oh, beautiful. How can you treat your fellow man like that? Excuse me, you don't insult me, Olama. That, 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 that ape is not half the man I am. You get me? I just taught him the virtue of not keeping his superiors waiting. What kind of nonsense is this now, eh? What kind of wickedness is this? You people are claiming big boys and big men. Oh, little, little, little money I work. You, 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 they took everything from me. Nonsense. Can, can, can you just imagine a bunch of illiterates? No, I don't blame you people at all. Can, can, I, I,
welcome my daughter. Please come and sit beside me. Thank you, Your Majesty. How was your day? Fine, Your Majesty. Chama, I've been I've been waiting for the right time to talk, talk to you about something. Um, Your Majesty, hope I didn't do anything wrong. No, no, you did not. Thank you, Your Majesty. I I remember the little misunderstanding you and Ikena had over a friend of yours who visited you the same day he came to pay your bride price. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I never knew that this incident would appear louder than the way it did. But the truth still remains that I don't have anything to do with this man, Your Majesty. Oh. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. I did not remind you about this for you to start telling me the story or, or start apologizing. I'm happy that eventually Ikenna has found out the truth. Chama, Ikenna loves you so much. Please, you need to be a little patient with him. Mother, you should know I love Ikenna too. If I didn't love him, I wouldn't have accepted to marry him. I shouldn't have doubted you, but I did. He cannot told me that um, he discovered that it was all a mistake. Um, Your Majesty, I'm sorry for any worry I must have caused you. Please forgive me. Gemma, please sit down. It's okay. You see, now that both of you are trying to journey into becoming man and wife, there's bound to be troubles, trials, temptations, difficulties. But your ability to manage it determines the kind of home you will have. Your Majesty, I am very grateful. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me go inside and rest. Thank you, Your Majesty. Olamma. You see, this is one of those things that, that easily get on my nerves. So yeah, we never agreed that you would be going back today. Oh no. Mm. So I now get on your nerves because I said I want to go back to my father's house. You see, blue-blooded people are not easily swayed by insignificant events. So oh, no. You just changed your mind. Because your friend told you that I treated her lousy taxi driver rather badly. Oh, be cheerful. I don't know what you want to hear from me. I just told you that I want to go back to my father's house. I don't owe you any explanations for that. Hey, baby, let's go. We can trek if we don't see anything. Else. Take me back to my father's palace now. Ukuloji. Your Highness.
What is the problem? Eh? You didn't come home with your car. What is it? I'm finished. Hey. I'm finished though. Don't say that, my son. You're not finished. You're still alive. What is it? I, I know, Mama. But what kind of life is this? Eh? Where do I start from now? Emenike, stop giving me high BP. And tell me what the problem is. What is it, my son? My Ambrobas. Hey! Ambrobas stole my taxi away. God! Hey! How did it happen? When? Eh? I hope they didn't hurt you, Emenike. Ma, wouldn't it have been better if they hurt me? Tell me, where do I start from now? Eh? What do I tell the owner of the taxi? He's not even taking my calls. My God. I'm, I'm finished. Hey. Don't say that. Don't say that. Why don't you go to his house? Eh? In fact, I'll go with you. I'll go with you and explain things myself. Hey! Huh? How did I, how, what kind of life is How did I wake up today? Eh? What, what a day. It's actually going to be your day. So I am not going to put any kind of restrictions on you. And you spend them. So if you know how you're going to make our wedding memorable, just go ahead and do it. Thank you, my husband. I'm going to get the best wedding planner in town. You know what? My wedding dress is going to be super. Don't think about the past. Get any wedding dress as long as you're happy with it and as long as you like it. Don't bother about the cost. Oh my god! Thank you, my husband. And have you thought about where our honeymoon is going to be? Um, I have so many places in mind, but I'm only considering the cost. Oh. Oh, you. You're calling me a poor man. No! She just called me a poor no, man. My baby. my baby, I didn't do... How can I call my baby a poor man? No, I did not. You know what? We'll start our honeymoon from Obodukato Ranch. Okay. Then from there, we'll go to London. We'll spend some days. From London, we'll move to Paris. Mm -hmm. From Paris, mm -hmm. we'll go to New York. From New York, We'll go to Game Reserve in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we'll move to Malaysia. Finally, we'll end it up in Dubai. I'm filing for bankruptcy. Why? <laughs> I only told you that my baby is not a poor man. <laughs> Come in. Your Highness. Her Majesty wants to see you. She's in Princess Olama's room. Tell her I'll be there. So, you will see. This is so unbelievable. What if that, that guy had died in the trunk of that car? I would have been an accessory to murder. God forbid. <sighs> Olama, you're back so soon. Mother, you sent for me. Yes, I did, my son. I want you to listen to the story your sister is telling me. Allah, what is the problem? Okay. Do you know that we traveled all the way from here to Admira with a very stancy driver locked up in the trunk of one of Obijofo's cars? Can you believe that? <laughs> this is this is impossible. I am telling you what I saw. What if that man had died? Hey. What if he had died? Hey. What would I have said? Or what if the police had stopped us on the road? They would have just nailed me in a kidnap case. This is outrageous. So that boy is this arrogant? Mother, did you say arrogant? Mother, this is not arrogance. This is wickedness, sheer wickedness. Oh my God, I can't believe this. So, Emenike, what do we do now? 
Mama, tomorrow I'll, I'll try again and see if I can get him at home. God will see us through, my son. That's a lie. God will not see you through. And by the time I deal with this fool you call your son, he will be begging the devil to take good care of his soul. Good evening, sir. No, no, no. There is nothing good about your greeting. Eh? Hey, Menike, where is my car? And my money you are supposed to pay me as my daily returns. Where is it? Sir, we're just coming back from your house now. And your wife told us that you're not back yet. I have even tried calling you on phone, but you will not take my call, sir. Were you calling me on phone to tell me that you left my car along the road with the key in the ignition? Or were you telling me that you did not work to pay me my daily returns? Uh, no, sir. The, 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 the truth is that I, I was almost kidnapped by uh, kidnappers today. It's just by the grace of God that I narrowly escaped from them. And by the time I got to where I parked the car, he was no longer there. Look, let me tell you, I don't care about your cock and bull story. I've taken my car. What I want right now is my money, my daily returns. Bring the money and be fast and bring it. Bring the money. Sir, like I said, it's the kidnappers that caused all this problem. They took away everything that I worked today. Please, just give me some time, huh? As a matter of fact, if I walk... If you walk, yes. with your car. No, let me tell you, don't ever come near my house. Do you hear me? Now let me tell you, tomorrow I'll be back. I will teach you what the flame of the fire uses the, uh, the, the ears of a rat to do. And I will tell you the reason why people call me Ibekasi. Do you hear me? Please sir, please sir. No, 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 I don't want you. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'll be here, I will teach you a lesson. You will never be in a hurry to forget. Hey. Hey, Menike. Huh? Which kidnappers are you talking about? Oh, it's a long story that we need to talk about another day. Uh, at least I'm now, uh, I thank God that now I know that the car wasn't stolen after all. At least I'm a little bit relieved. Let me just look for a way and get this man's money and pay him so that I can be free. I am still shocked. You know, that I've not gotten over that incident. I still ask, what if that guy had died in the trunk of that car? <laughs> Do you know what the press would have done? They would have had a field day with our names. And then the law would drag us to the mud. Seriously? Please, my dear, once you have any little chance, can you check on him? See how he's doing. I don't want my name linked with any mother story. Thank you. I know, I know. All right, we'll see you later. Yeah? Thank you. Bye. Wifey. Sorry, I was talking with my friend, Barry. I understand. Yeah, come in. Good morning, Your Highness. Good morning. Your breakfast is ready. Oh, okay. I'll be out shortly. Prince Obi Jaffa said to inform me that he's around and wants to see you. Really? Okay, um, tell him I'll be out shortly and make him breakfast too. Hola. When he came out told me the story, I couldn't believe it. And to prove to me that he's such a cow, he came here this morning. Ah, please. I'm sorry I called him a cow. But... Uh, you know what? I don't even know what to make of this whole thing. Seriously. Let's just go to the dining. Let's go and eat. Eh? Oh, la. You know I don't do breakfast. Oh, that's true. And if I follow you to that dining table and I don't have anything to keep me busy, I'll start thinking of using that table knife on him. You also want to commit murder? Why am I surrounded with people who want to commit murder? No, no. Don't call me anything negative. Because I'm certainly not in the same category with your fiancé. Oh, la. Please, I want you to think about this. Think about this whole thing before this guy messes you up. I've been thinking. Seriously, I've been thinking. Ah, let me see him. Will you wait here or? Come oh, back to my room. Uh oh. Yeah, you're shy. <laughs> let me help you. Everybody's talking about our love. They said it should be. They said you were not meant for me But every time I close my eyes I 
It's for